Start recording. All right, we're good so far. What's up, Internet? It's your dumbass, Panicos Gaming. And I finally changed over my uh, streaming settings. So I now stream my, my CPU and record on my GPU. So the recording should be fine. There shouldn't be any issues because I have a lot of headroom left on the GPU there. Um, yeah, a lot of the encoding headroom. Um, CPU, so the stream should still be fine as well. Um, obviously, I'm a little concerned with that, but I have the setting turned way down, so the stream might not actually be as good as they were previously. Um, but that shouldn't be too big an issue. I can turn it up as, like, I, you know, can push it further and be like, hey, okay, I can do more and more with it. All right, um, I think I got everything back up here. So, um, I was watching a stream the other day, and we're going to change up our shiny hunting method, because obviously this is... Yeah. Um, and so, we are going to kind of do a more, uh, the way, like, other people do it, where they don't, um, really use the bridge too much. They just kind of sit outside of uh, the daycare center. And it should be transferred over to the correct Pokemon now. I believe I put my Corsola back in there. Really hope so. But I guess we'll find out. Uh, I do have one egg in here. But basically what we're going to do is we're just going to keep on grabbing eggs as the, um, the party fills up. But what we're not going to do, or, yeah, like, so even when we're full in the party on eggs, we're still going to keep grabbing more. Uh, by the way, we're going to go for about 125 today, so we'll get to around uh, 1150. Uh, but yeah, as we, uh, as, the thing I won't be doing is as we uh, hatch them, I won't be swapping them out immediately. Also, I am going to kind of try and vary the pattern here a little bit. But yeah, hopefully this can speed it up a little bit. I do need to speed things up a little bit, obviously. Being that, you know... This is taking a little while, and uh, I do need to get uh, everything ready for... Uh, before. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. So yeah, here we're just going to... I'm just going to send it to the box. I do have to be careful about not hitting uh, no when I grab these eggs. Yeah, we'll see how fast this goes tonight. Um, this is kind of a, you know, a test type thing, but also, you know, I wanted to try some new things and whatnot. Uh, speaking of new things, new uh, information for the new games came out today, and I'm a little worried. <laughs> uh, so some of the stuff we saw... That came out today. Oh, also, there were some uh, other minor things. Um, or not necessarily minor. Uh, Dratini will be uh, Community Day for Pokemon Go in November. Um, next week, there's an event in Pokemon Go for the uh, Festival of Lights thing. That'll have a uh, Shiny Chinchu be more common. I don't know if it'll be as common as a Calm Day. Um, Eternatus is available, or the Shiny Eternatus is available in Japan. And then we got all the new, uh, like, trailer and stuff that dropped. So there's actually a lot of stuff in that trailer, so I'm not really going to go over all of it. Um, my biggest thing, just to, right off the bat, is the possible new uh, breeding mechanic. I am I'm worried if that is actually supposed to be the new breeding mechanic. So basically, how it works is... Uh, it is actually kind of similar to what the leaks were saying, so, you know, another win for the leaks. Um, but so instead of the camping system that we have in this game, there's a, um, a picnic system, which, so it's the same shit, right? Um, but one of the things about that is they didn't really explain it too much, but when you are, um, in these picnics, sometimes you can get eggs. And that's worrying, because 
uh, you know, like, what is the time frame on getting these eggs? How does it choose what Pokemon you're getting egg for? You can probably assume that it's going to be for your, um, the stuff in your party. Although, again, you know, who knows if there's even breeding whatsoever right now. Um, so it's worrying because it, I mean, like I just said, who knows if they're still breeding. Um, I really hope so. But, you know, it wasn't in Legends Arceus. Uh, yeah. I mean, fortunately, I'm not too concerned about, like, stats and stuff. Um, oh, also, I should probably be counting these, huh? I know this is at least number three, maybe number four. Um, but yeah, like, you know, not being able to have any control over your stats is kind of going to be a problem pretty quickly, I feel like. Uh, I need to just keep grabbing these eggs. Like I said, I'll swap them out of the party every time we're done hatching the current set, but we are at least grabbing the eggs beforehand. So hopefully the end of it will be a little bit faster. Uh, I have no idea how many I need to grab either. Uh, I'll do the math on that once we, um, once we fill up this box, I think. We won't be anywhere near, like, going over our number by that point. Uh, but yeah, that is, a uh, a little concerning with that because, you know, also, is there a Masuda method if we don't have, you know, a Ditto involved, uh... You know, there's there's so many questions and they didn't explain it and it is very 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 possible this doesn't actually replace breeding this is just like bonus eggs basically which would be cool um i would be down for that to be honest but so that we will just have to see uh but there was a bunch of cool stuff we saw like actual gameplay finally like yes we've seen some but it's all been like kind of um jump cut it and edited and things you know were weird um or just you know they they were very much trying not to show off the gameplay too much yet it was supposed to be not cinematic but not necessarily again gameplay i don't know why i'm saying that 38 times um this is the only problem about doing this method is it's kind of a pain in the ass to get all the eggs into your party but Not too bad. Um, but yeah, when we did see some new Pokemon, uh, Giraffe Rig has a new, uh, has a new evolution for Agariff or some shit, I think. It's basically Giraffe Rig, but inversed. So that seems neat. Um, oops. Okay. Uh, what else did we see? Do we see any new, other new Pokemon? I don't know if, so I, there were some, what looked to be like new Pokemon that they didn't, um, talk about and were very, like, hidden in there. Um, so we'll have to see what's up with that, if those are new Pokemon or stuff. But yeah, I know, it just seems interesting. Uh, another thing that is not, I'm not thrilled about this, um, is TMs are back to being single use. As we kind of saw that in, um, I believe, BDSP, if I remember correctly. Um, I really don't like that. We don't exactly know if there's going to be multiple... Oops. If there's going to be multiple ways to get them now, but the big way seems to be crafting them. Which, I will say, as long as you can craft every TM, that's not as bad, but that is still annoying. And also, I don't know if we know yet if... The move system is going to be similar to Legends Arceus, not in like how it was like how the turn based system was done, but in how um, your Pokemon, once it learns a move, even if you remove it from its move list, it'll, you can always just reteach it from the menu, which is super awesome. So hopefully it kind of works like that. So that way, even like. You can just use one TM on a Pokemon. You never have to worry about it uh, forgetting its move. Hopefully it works that way. I would think so, because it kind of does work like that in Legends Arceus. Uh, you just have to pay for the um, TM, and it's automatically applied to the Pokemon that you 
bought it for. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That stuff is, uh, it is definitely worrying. I will say that much for, sh for very much certain. It's because, I mean, the TM thing is probably fine. I don't think it's going to be a big issue. Um, but the, the breeding, man, if there's no breeding, I don't know. Like, obviously, we can hope that um, the shiny odds are super high, like in Legends Arceus. But God, I like just breeding for a Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. I loved Legends Arceus shinies. Um, tons and tons of fun to do that. But, you know, I do kind of like the... Um, you know, just doing this. Like, this is so chill and low risk. Obviously, it sucks when you um, spend over a thousand eggs on a single Pokemon. Double odds, by the way. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, I'm definitely thinking I shouldn't push my, uh, my CPU any higher than it's currently at in terms of settings. Sorry, again, I am testing settings, but yeah, some of my cores, most of my cores are barely getting used. Four of them, or th four of the threads anyways, are um, getting hit pretty hard, like almost capping out, which might be fine, or it could be a big problem. But yeah, I also, uh, I had to change how I save my temporary files. Um... Because I guess NVIDIA, the NVEC um, encoder doesn't like uh, doesn't support FLV, which is interesting. So I am saving as an MKV now and converting that to an MP4. That also, that conversion seems to be incredibly much faster, as in almost instant. So, kind of wish I would have done that from the start, but I've, uh, feel like I remember someone saying that, you know, the, um, okay, we did hatch another, that, uh, like, FLV was the way to go for, uh, backing it up. Eh, that'll do. But yeah, anyway, so I got all that stuff set up last night. Uh, I think I have my recordings about as high as I want them to be. Because I did um, I did a lot of test recording last night. Basically, I did this, but with a slowpoke. Glaring slowpoke, that is. And uh, I just kind of ran across the bridge a bunch. Well, like, I would get a set of eggs and then run across the bridge. Because I figured that's probably, you know, as bad as it's going to get, at least in this game. For, uh... You know, encoding and compression and stuff. And I do have more headroom that I guess I could use. Actually, I have plenty of performance headroom on my GPU, but um, I'm already at the bitrate that you would be using for 4K on YouTube, which is fine because I kind of like doing that. So that way you can get a higher quality video even without re increasing the, um, the resolution. Like, actually increasing the resolution. You Basically, you take the 1080p file, you render it out again as 4K, and then... So basically, you upscale it. And the reason why you do that instead of, like, 1440p or something is because it's a more evenly divisible number. 1080p divides into the resolution for um, 4K completely evenly. Basically, every pixel becomes, like, 4 pixels. Um... But, but anyway, so you do that, you render it back out as a 4K file, and then even though, um, you know, the resolution hasn't actually gone up at all, so that by itself isn't going to increase your quality. In fact, you might, in theory, you could lose a little bit of quality there just because of the, um, you know, the compression trying to uh, interpolate data or something. Um, but... Because you can crank the bitrate much higher, you end up with a better looking video. So, even though it is 1080p, if you watch it at 4K, it will look better. 
typically anyways um remains to be seen if i'm gonna be using enough uh or you know if that's gonna be a big enough quality jump to justify it i mean this is pokemon uh this is just shiny breeding but i don't know i'm uh i really like just cranking my settings as high as they can go uh i don't want to go further than that though because i could do like 8a or something stupid like that actually i don't know i might have to make some changes with uh my editing program to do 8k but but like in theory i could do that but like this is already going to take a long ass time to encode like or re-encode when i'm doing my uh my final render out um that's a ton of data so like you know hard drive space is an infinite i have an eight terabyte for my videos but you know i think that's down to like five and a half right now uh that will very quickly get melted through So, you know, it's just, there's no reason to go higher than that. Like, on, I'm even a little bit under the most, the most I could get away with for a 4K30. Because I think 4K30 will top out at, like, 5,800 kilobit. Or, 58, no, sorry, 50, 58,000 kilobit. No, 48,000 kilobit, Jesus Christ. Um... And that's, like, right where my quality is. I think I'm, like, a tad bit below that. But, like, yeah, I could push it further, but, like, it's good enough. And again, the file sizes are already large enough. It's already going to take long enough to process after I'm done streaming. Oh, also... Speaking of processing, uh, I screwed up when I was uploading videos for the uh, Let's Go Eevee playthroughs. So, it um, at one point I uploaded a duplicate video that was had already been up without realizing. Well, so what happened was originally I think, um, I um, when I uploaded a video, I reused the settings, like all the information, like the title and stuff from the previous video. And then forgot to correct it to be accurate for the current one. So I had like two part sixes up. Even though they were technically different videos. And then because of that, I uploaded... So I uploaded part six as part six. And then I uploaded part seven as part six. So then I uploaded part seven again and labeled that one as part seven. So on top of there being two part sixes, even though they weren't the same, there is a part six and a part seven that were the same. Uh, mistakes. Ow. Did I not move them into my party? What? Huh. I... Okay. I didn't even thought about the fact that I was actually being handed the eggs. I was just kind of autopiloting. Uh, okay. Alright, so I think after I fill this box, I will want to fill up three more boxes total and then have ten more besides that. It's okay if I go a little over, I just probably won't hatch them tonight. I'll probably do that on the next stream. Again, now that I have Let's Go Eevee done, this is it till Scarlet and Violet come out. So, you know, hopefully I can get all these Galarian forms. I haven't figured out how I want to put that into the title that I'm working on all the Galarian forms. But I probably should, because I think that would be more interesting well it's like working in the glaring forms and saying that it's you know i'm trying to get them all before scarlet and violet drop um so yeah oh you know what i can do real quick uh we need 511 by 512 
then go ahead and put you up to the 1150th power so we'll be at right around uh like 89.5 percent chance that i should have seen the shiny by the end of tonight also i did just kind of remember that uh i said i was gonna update the shiny counter to be um work better or to work so it would have the um the two columns the like lifetime total for this hunt as well as the current stream total but let's see again that that's kind of part of a um just getting everything a little bit more unified as well i really need to go in and play with the um the now playing settings and try and get that to look more like the rest of the stuff even though i don't think i'm going to be able to I don't know if I want it to, to be honest, because it's like having another uh, white box with black text with, you know, rainbow outline is, eh. But I think if I keep it black, but I just get rid of like that, uh, that like off green, like mint green color, that would at least help a little bit. So we have the two that hatch. Now I have to do all of this again. That is entirely my own fault, though. I just wasn't paying attention. See, I feel like this way has more potential for mistakes, but because I'm still doing them in groups of five, I shouldn't be getting too far off count. It'll get off count by a few, but then I'll be like, oh, wait a second, this isn't right, and then I'll correct it. Instead of if I do it one by one where it's like, well, you know, if I missed one, fuck. I know I could go back after and count them, but I ain't ever gonna do that. That just ain't gonna be a thing I ever do. But yeah, hopefully the shiny hunting is good in Scarlet Violet. Worst case scenario, again, I'm sure we're gonna have encounters. I would think if they get rid of breeding for shinies, they would have to be keeping around, like, the shinies in the overworld and... You know, some sort of really good encounter method to get shinies. We will just have to see, though. Move these over here. Move these over here. Grab you. I better have actually put him in my party this time. Okay, good, I did. But yeah, I'm glad to be done with uh, Let's Go Eevee. Obviously, I uh, I enjoyed the game the first time I played it. Still enjoyed it for most of the time that I played it this time, but boy, that Zapdos. That reminds me, also, I do still need to go and take those, uh, those legendaries out of the boxes. So I can move him into home, and then also, before doing that, rename that fucking Zapdos to something that, uh, is more... A name that works for a Pokemon that I spent so much fucking time wasting on it. Because it just didn't want to work. God, motion controls just suck. But yeah, hopefully we can uh, make it through all of these uh, 150 eggs we're going to do tonight, because I am very tired. I, I I know I say this a lot, but yeah, I did not sleep much at all last night. I will say this seems to be... I mean, it's definitely less visually interesting because we aren't crossing the bridge at all at this point. We will at the end, once I have all the eggs that I need for today's hunt, I can just, uh, yeah, just start riding across the bridge. But until then... We 
But yeah, the other thing is this probably isn't as indicative of what my my system's capable of doing right now as like with my original test because being that the original or the test that I did anyways were um, I was crossing the bridge and not riding around in front of her so I don't know if that's gonna have an effect whether it's you know good or bad if I get better or worse uh, speed and quality and shit out of it God. yeah very tired which is funny because a little while before the stream started I wasn't I'm really tired at all anymore. And then I hit the start button and oh boy. This caffeine needs to hit sooner rather than later. Also, still no idea what uh why it is I get congested when like I start streaming now. This is like a recent thing, and it's kind of annoying. Eventually, it kind of clears up, but it's like, after, you know, the first few minutes, how long are we into this? Oh, almost 30 minutes. We've hatched 25 Pokemon. I'm not sure this is really much faster, to be honest. But whatever, we'll try it. We'll, you know, try to compare it and stuff. We'll see what happens. It's nice to do something a little bit different, even for just right now. Uh, I might actually have to wrap this up early, like super early. Um, I really thought I'd be able to stream today, but I'm having a little bit of trouble holding my eyes open. <laughs> Which usually you would think is an indication of the quality of the game, and to be fair in Sword and Shield, you might have a bit of a point, but... I don't know. We will see what happens. I think I will... God, I don't want to promise anything, but, like, I'll promise to get through to, um... 1100. Oh, my God. Brain. Why am I all of a sudden just, like, borderline passing out on stream? Jesus. Like, I know I'm a little tired, but I ain't not that tired. I can, like, barely even look at the screen right now. God damn. Why open that? Anyways, uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna have to wrap up. I just about fell asleep right there. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we'll see. Let, again, I did just start this energy drink, maybe we'll be okay, but you know. Uh, hopefully I don't fall asleep on stream. That would be embarrassing. Although, apparently, that's, like, the new thing. Is to do an uncapped subathon. And then, you know. Obviously, you have to sleep at some point. I understand that. But it seems super lazy to me that, like, they make the sleeping part of the stream. Also, until recently, you weren't even allowed to do that. You weren't allowed to... Well, maybe I shouldn't say recently. I don't remember when the change got made, but it didn't used to be that you could be asleep on stream. You had to be, like, awake and participating. Obviously, like, if you fell asleep or whatever, like I'm doing my damn best to do, um, you, uh, you know, you wouldn't really get in trouble. They would just turn it off, but, like, you weren't supposed to do something like, you know, I, it's just, I don't know, very weird. But, like, obviously, I get, like, you know, just set it so it's, like, okay, you have a max of 12 hours that you can do in any day. And then, you know, after that, you just turn off the stream. It'll start 12 hours later. You know? Just something like that. It just seems, I don't know. 
it is mostly VTubers, I feel like, that I see doing that. We'll wait until after these hatch before we grab that egg from her. So, like, ah, I know VTubing is, like, its own, you know, it's its, like, own meta, but definitely weird. Also, I've got, like, no interest in doing a super long stream. Even, like, 12 hours. Although, I say that, potentially, we might do that for, like, Scarlet and Violet. I don't think it'll be 12 hours. In fact, I can assure you it won't be. Um, but it could be up to, like, 8 hours, honestly. And pretty much as soon as... Uh, so I have to work on that day. Thursday, I assume it's coming out 10 p.m. Thursday night. In my, uh, region. What's up, Wooper? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I wouldn't really... I don't think I would have a Solosis or anything for it in this game. And I'm not, a. Uh, I'm not really doing any trades at the moment. Also, in general, if I am going to trade someone for a shiny, I will, um... I want it to be like I have to give up something reasonable in return. Like another shiny, or, you know, a, you know, a legendary or something like that. So that way it's not like I'm just being given shinies. Um, but I do appreciate it. But yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to help you. Uh, but if you want some advice, you can use Pokemon Home. Pokemon Home is always a great resource for that stuff. Uh, and also, like, Discord and Reddit have, um, you know, have plenty of, like, people who would be able to help you out more. You're only six away from the Pokedex. Ah, uh, yeah. But yeah, definitely try Pokemon Home, especially for stuff like that. Like, it's definitely... I don't remember if you need the paid account to use the trading... But honestly, it's really fucking cheap. And it's nice to have all of your stuff basically backed up to a server. Because, so actually, the streamer that I'm copying this um, shiny hunting method from, they um, they recently lost their Switch. And I think it must have happened before um, BDSP and Legends Arceus had Pokemon Home support. So they, all their shinies that they had gotten, they lost. Um... So it's nice to have something like Pokemon Home where it is kind of, you know, backed up to a server. Granted, if someone steals your stuff, you know, there's not much you can do, but at least in the event of, you know, you drop it in water or something, you know, you aren't losing your data. Because it is very stupid. I do kind of understand why they do this, but it's very stupid that you can't back up your, um, your save data for the Pokemon games, especially before Pokemon Home is supported. Um, you know, with how long it took for BDSP to be uh, supported by Pokemon Home, it's like, really, like, at least at the time, they should have let you be able to um, back up your save. I know why they don't do that, because it makes it very, very easy to duplicate Pokemon, I feel like. Um, like, more so than the uh, BDSP glitch. But yeah, it is stupid. But I think I still need to like actually bother to confirm this. But I believe um, it is confirmed that, or confirmed. <laughs> uh, I believe I have heard that Pokemon Home is going to support Scarlet and Violet on day one, which will be very nice if that's true. I don't think that's like a rumor or a leak thing either. Like if I what I remember seeing someone say was that. Officially, it had been said that it's going to support those games on day one. Also, hey, the energy drink finally kicked in. <laughs> that reminds me, I need to check my, uh, some of the settings for my chat.
Uh, but... Oh, God, please give me the shiny. If I get this shiny... Well, even besides, like, how tired I am, if I got the shiny tonight, I would just be wrapping up there, but... God, please. All right, 1060. Not a half bad graphics card. I don't know why, that one seems a lot more white than normal. Got the albino, uh, Corsola. Oh, it's been... never mind. I was gonna make a dumb joke about how it's been bleached because of the, uh... the oceans, but... then I remembered that it is literally just dead coral, so anyways. Uh... Alright, grab these. So, we need, uh... Ow! Whoops. Hold on a second. Let me grab these guys. Put them in there so at least we have a full box. Uh, so we, I think we're gonna want to fill up this box, this box, this box, and then we'll start this box. And that should put us at the right count for our eggs. So if we get to that point, then we'll, um... We can just start, uh, running across the bridge a bunch. Yeah, I definitely, uh, oh, I really need to start making more YouTube stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I kind of fell behind with the VODs a little bit. That's entirely my own fault. Um, not as bad as usual, but I mean, I did get a couple days behind on them. And then, um... With the whole issue of me absent accidentally duplicating a title and then I duplicated a VOD on there and it oh god it was a you know not a big mess but boy I'm glad I noticed it and then um god what was I what I was even gonna say uh... oh yeah also just with uh with me uh Something I'm concerned about with this is recording on the GPU and recording at like a much higher bit rate. Uh, I am very much concerned that uh, when I re-encode, or not re-encode, but when I uh, when I edit these to make them like 4K to take advantage of a higher bit rate um, on YouTube, anyways, um, I am worried that that render is going to take a hot minute. So we'll find out tonight. I mean, again, this, you know, this is all part of a test. Um, I did kind of want to wait till I was done with Let's Go Eevee because like, eh, a shiny hunt, eh, it's fine if there's some varying quality during a shiny hunt. But I felt like it was probably made most sense to make sure Let's Go Eevee was, a, uh, you know, just consistent throughout. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't take too long. I mean, the good thing is I can always, you know, I can always just leave it to render overnight. Um, it's just I have to, I have to do that before I leave. Or, not leave, but, you know, before I, like, go to bed or anything. Like, it, you know, it has to be done that night. Uh, because otherwise, then I'm, you know, backing up VODs a lot. And I don't want them to be too backed up. Um, it's okay if they're a day or two behind. I mean, ultimately, I guess it's okay if they're up to 15 days behind, because that's how long Twitch stores the VODs on their end. To be clear, I don't use the Twitch VOD version, I use my own recording, but Twitch does save the stream as it's uploaded. Um, oh, what was the thing? Sorry, give me one sec. Hopefully this doesn't, like, kill my laptop to try and open this. Uh... Oh, so I did see a thing that with more uh, payout transparency for Twitch, which they better start doing that if they're pissing off all of their streamers with the new uh, splits. Um, though I did see that, which this makes perfect sense. I was actually wondering how they were going to go around this. Um, 
it it's starting in june next year um any new contract that being not like any new uh partner contract not just being um like the crazy big ones you hear about like shit with ninja or whatever but like just you know if you make partner you do sign a contract with twitch um any new ones will be the 50 50 but if you already have one in effect um you'll be fine for another year or not another year but you'll be fine until that contract expires and then when you get your new one then that's when the that split will take place so one of the streamers i watch uh his renews in like april so he's basically gonna be fine until for like another two years on that which is lucky for him oh boy this is turning into a mess really quickly But yeah, anyways, on that, uh, like, uh, payout transparency or whatever they were saying, something I noticed on that is that they does mention tax withholding, which, as far as I know, you don't, Twitch, I don't think, I don't remember Twitch, like, withholding taxes for you. I thought that was a big thing that a lot of streamers bring up, is that, like, you have to kind of do all that on your own. Did I put anything? Oh, fucking damn it. I fucked up. Hold on. Got to actually move these over. Oh, uh, but yeah, if so, I mean, that's, that's... It's good if they do offer that. I mean, being an independent contractor, it makes it kind of a mess, I feel like. But, I mean, with how, you know, especially with how easy streaming is to get into for, you know, if you're, like, 16, 17, 18, you don't understand that, like, you need to save money to pay the IRS at some point. Especially when you start getting into stuff like quarterly taxes and stuff. Um, Because after, I forget... You can kind of get away with not paying the IRS until, like, the end of the year. Um, for, like, the first year. Um, but if you're, like, expecting to make more than a certain amount, um, like, every three months, you have to pay them quarterly. Also, I have no idea how anything with that stuff would work internationally. I don't even know how Twitch is doing it in the U.S., so I would have no idea how that would work out. But, but yeah, it's very good if they start helping with that. Even just, you know, working with a third party to help you do that. Because I know, personally, I don't want to have to deal with that stuff. Obviously, you know, you still have to do a tax return and all that shit, but just, like, having it set to automatically withhold whatever you're kind of expecting to have to pay would be quite helpful, I feel like. I mean, that's how, you know, any non-contractor job works. If you go get a job, you know, at Walmart or something, like, they're automatically taking the taxes out of your paycheck and paying it for you. They don't get a choice in the matter on that because you are an employee and so they have to do that for you. But independent contractors is a whole different thing. Fortunately, when I, uh, when I used to do DoorDash, your deductions... If you're doing it right anyways, end up being generally more than what you owe, so it's you end up not really paying anything. I think last year I owed the federal government nothing and I owed the state of Arizona like sixty dollars or something. Hopefully I did all that right, because you know, they make it extremely difficult to do that shit correctly like it's holy fuck especially because of all the bullshit you have to deal with tax software and like how much of that shit where like they advertise it as free but then oh actually you're an independent contractor no you have to pay us but then you have it's just oh my god it's such a mess fucking turbo tax dude and well all of the uh like uh Hewitt Jackson or whatever, like, all of them are responsible for the rat fucking that has happened with that stuff, because they have all lobbied lots of money towards Congress to make sure that stuff stays as complicated as possible, and that the IRS can't just have a free version that they give to you. 
they made they went out of their way to make it so that they that is not legal for the irs to do also that way private companies can then fleece you and do all sorts of misleading bullshit Now, I know there is something changing with, like, after a certain threshold, any income that you have is just, no matter what, just gets, like, auto-reported to the IRS, which is good, but that doesn't help the tax return shit, because there's a bunch more shit to it than that. That's just, that stuff is all really frustrating. Like, I know most countries, pretty much what happens is they send you, like, they send you the tax return for you. It's like, hey, does this look correct? All right, cool. Like, you just sign off on it. The, the uh, tax collectors or whatever have already done everything for you, which is how it should be because, you know, it's just stupid that, oh, what's that? You made a stupid mistake? <laughs> Guess what? You owe a whole lot of money now. Oh, speaking of all, like, political shit, too, uh, it was very awesome to see today that there's finally something being done at the federal level about, uh, marijuana, in terms of legalizing it. It's weird that it's taken this long for anything with that to really happen, because of how it's basically can be controlled by the president with that. Because today, uh, Biden, uh, pardoned, I, I think there's a different term for it, um, but basically anyone with a federal, um, conviction for marijuana possession, most anyways, like, if you, there's, I'm sure, you know, if you had hundreds of bales of weed on you, then, yeah, you're gonna, that's a whole different thing, but just for, like, simple possession, or, uh, they all of that has been pardoned or is in the process of being pardoned and also there should be in the process of um like changing the um the scheduling of um marijuana which basically uh marijuana in the united states at the federal level is classified as a drug that has zero medical or like research use or anything like you can't do anything with it it's basically like is considered again according to the law considered one of the worst drugs on the planet obviously that's a load of horse shit and it always has been it has always been a um about basically going after the hippies that's been the entirety of it the whole war on drug shit has always been a fucking nonsense but we'll not get too deep into that conversation but this would change it so that at the federal level it's more um, appropriately classified doesn't necessarily mean it's uh you know complete free-for-all it might you know it still would be a controlled substance so if you aren't allowed to have, you know if whatever for whatever reason you're not supposed to have it you would still potentially get in trouble Though I think with the pardoning stuff, the idea is that, again, basic possession is going to be just decriminalized. So, like, worst case scenario, if you get caught with it, they just take it away and they don't even bother charging you. Which is, for the most part, how it should be. Actually, well, no, sorry. I mean, I guess there are situations where probably someone shouldn't have their weed or whatever. Um... But, as a general rule, there's, there's, like, for general population, there's no excuse for that shit to be illegal. I'm not gonna go so far as to say that, you know, there's some people who think it's the most harmless substance on the planet. It's not quite good that far. If you're smoking it, you're still inhaling ash, that's not good for you. You know, at least long term. But, so many things aren't good for you. I mean, fucking alcohol is, like, it's literally poison. You're literally uh, ingesting poison. 
and the uh the effects of that poison on your body is what being drunk is but i mean also like you know again even though we might not be chemically addicting it can be you know habit forming you know you just you form a dependency on it because that's you know um you know there's there's stuff with it that's not like you shouldn't just i don't know I'm trying to think of how i'm like probably should be trying to say this but like it's not harmless it's just mostly harmless and like compared to other things it's it might as well be like you really have to try real hard to overdose on marijuana like for like i think as a general rule again i'm not gonna say this is a hundred percent the case but y you will pass out from smoking long before you get to the point where it's you're in any sort of danger now i don't know how that works with stuff like edibles and whatnot although you know you would think hopefully your body will just uh start vomiting if it's really bad anyways should probably get away from that topic too much because it's not like i'm an expert on it or anything but you know some of that stuff is real obvious how it should be anyways it's a good thing that news today uh I'm trying to think what other there was some other shit that i saw today probably uh one of them i'm thinking of i'm not gonna get into it all because i don't need to deal with the fucking idiots but uh yeah i, I don't know baseball regular season is over aaron judge is probably gonna be mvp which i still think otani should be but i do understand that aaron judge is doing some i mean they're both having a season that we've just never before seen you know I would understand if, like, Otani had regressed a little bit from last year or something, but, like, he only got better this year. It's, like, insane. And I do really think that he, as a player, has more overall value in terms of his ability as opposed to Judge. But it's not like, you know... We're not talking about, like, Joey Gallo or something, right? We're not talking about someone who has a billion strikeouts this year. You know, it's like judges. Judges had a historic season. He set the new, uh, basically set the new seasons, uh, single season home run record. Um, I know there's the steroid stuff. We'll not get too much into that because that's a very complex thing to talk about. I'll TLDR it in that I don't think Bond should have his stats taken away from him. Um, I don't think he should be banned from the Hall of Fame, but also I don't think it's fair for him to hold the record for, like, a single season type thing. And, like, even on his stats, I'm like, okay, if they're being, like, a little, you know, the asterisk of, like, hey, by the way, this was during the Roids era. But as people will point out, God, I'm getting into this discussion even though I said I wouldn't. Um, I mean, that's been true of pretty much every era of baseball. You know, Babe Ruth was playing against farmers, basically, a lot of the time. I know, obviously, later in his career, I'm sure there was more professionals. But, you know, it's like the level of athleticism there was completely different. Um, and, you know, there, I mean, there's stuff about every era. You know, the fact that Aaron Judge has hit so many home runs against the best pitchers in baseball history i mean really like i understand that maybe not every single one that he's faced has been you know better than pitchers of the past but he you know overall pitchers are way more effective today than they were even 10 years ago you know 10 years ago strasburg throwing 100 mile per hour fastballs was like a pretty big deal i might be even a little bit before that but you understand the point um where today it's you know i won't say it's common but it's not exactly uncommon either like there's plenty of pitchers throwing 100 mile per hour fastball. i think did otani have a 100 mile per hour fastball recently he might have i'm not sure i might be misremembering that but yeah it's just like you know 
like even besides the whole you know roids and stuff which you can also make an argument that you know a lot of the pitchers were also on roids at during that era so like um but i mean even considering that the pitchers of today are just outright you know powerhouses compared to that But yeah, anyways, well, again, I'm not exactly an expert about all the stuff because uh, a lot of the Roid stuff was started before I was really a baseball fan at all. And kind of, uh, even once I was watching baseball, you know, I didn't, I was still very young at the time. You know, I probably wasn't even a teenager during like, you know, some of Barry Bonds' last seasons and stuff, so... You know, it's just, I just, it's hard for me to say how, you know, it should be because of that. I don't know. It's kind of like a, a blank spot for me, I guess. Like, it's just like, I know it, you know, it existed, it happened, I watched some of that stuff, but like, I didn't, I wasn't, even if I was watching baseball, I hadn't really developed into my fandom that I, you know, anyways. Uh, how many more eggs do we need right now? Okay, so we still need a few. I can't believe we don't have the shiny yet, man. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can't think of any other news that I'm... I personally cared about too much. Um, than that I would care to talk about on the stream. But today was an exciting... Well, the last couple of days have been pretty exciting in the news. Even if a lot of that excitement is from a uh, concern. Because certainly there's plenty of bad shit that's going on still. Probably always will be. Unfortunately. But that's just, you know... That's just reality. one of these one of these has to be it right like it's it is crazy how long this has taken still not like i guess that's the thing right a 12 or 13 percent chance of it taking that long this long is not that crazy like really like it's obviously very much more likely that i would have gotten the shiny but not have gotten it by now but like a 10 percent chance still isn't that unreasonable it just, it hurts to see that number. It's like, wow, if I was one of 10 people doing this hunt at the same time, the other nine would have already found theirs. But we'll see. Hopefully this, uh, finishing this will swing my luck back around in the other direction for me and I can just, you know, start having some good luck again. I think I am going to start doing this, uh, well, I think I'm going to be doing a lot more shiny hunting off stream, because I kind of have to, uh, you know, running out of, uh, time here before the new games come out, which is entirely my own fault. I, uh, well, there were some, you know, issues that were either out of my control or, you know, aren't necessarily fair to myself to take the blame on, but... Ultimately, I just wasn't streaming very much, so there we are. I am curious to see. We are getting, you know, further into the month. I want to know if we're going to get another um, Dynamax adventure. Or Dynamax adventure. A uh, wild area event for a Dynamax raid. Get some more shinies. I definitely do want to... Um, 
at least try to do like the Dratini and the Litwick and I guess the Chinchu hunts um, coming up in Pokemon Go. Because I, I do need uh, all three of the Dratini line. That one like I'm most interested in, especially because I imagine... I can look that up actually, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Dratini. Dratini, it's going to pull it up in Pokemon Go Dex, I think, which kind of sucks. I don't know if there's a way for me to get around that. Gen 8 po hey, perfect. Uh, yeah, that's a very uh, long base uh, step rate. That is a 10k step, so, you know, that one's going to take a little bit to breed for those, so if I can get one or two of them, that would be very helpful. And then I do have a Chandelure Shiny, but, you know, Litwick and Lampent would be nice. I do have my Chinchu Shiny, but obviously a Lantern would be nice. Yeah, no, no, that's... Okay. I got confused because that's a very similar name to Litwick and uh, Lampent and Chandelure. I was like, wait a second, Lantern? That, is that right? Yeah, no, it is. That's the name of it. It's a shame that's not a better Pokemon. If only because of how much I love Chinchu. I should see, have we uh, seen Chinchu in the new games yet? I'm not sure. Also, I do need to go through the new uh, the new Pokemon that we've seen. Or not necessarily even the new new Pokemon, but the, um, the one returning Pokemon that we've seen in the most recent trailer. Um... I actually took that egg. I'm kind of concerned that I hit uh, no on that and let her keep the egg. That you really shouldn't be able to do, I feel like. Or I wish there was a... Th like, I know there's not a way to do this and not make breeding much, much easier or faster. But I wish there was a way where... Just to know that if the egg is going to hatch a shiny, if you try and tell her no on that... She'll be like, no, 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 I insist, you should take this, there's something very special about this one. Or something like that, you know. Not like a actual tell on the egg or anything, so that way if you don't reject the egg, you have no idea. Um, but just in case you accidentally hit no, it's like, no, 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 take this, trust us. I mean, they've done that, not for like shinies or anything, but they have done it before where they will let you do something, but then turn around and be like, actually, wait a second. Don't do that. You shouldn't do that. Like, um... I guess they wouldn't really still do this, uh... nowadays, with, uh... being that HMs aren't really a thing, but... um... in some of the, uh, older, like, GBA games and stuff, you... if you tried to release a Pokemon that has... there's the last Pokemon with the HM that's in your boxes or your party or anything, it'll release and you'll go obey. It's like, bye-bye. Hey, and then it'll immediately come back like, wait, it came back. It must be worried about you or something. Which is like a neat way to go about that. And, uh, I don't know. I just, I kind of wish there was something for this because it does scare me. Because, like, I did reject a, um, just accidentally at least one, uh, Slowpoke egg last night. And, like, it's kind of scary, because it's like, well, hopefully that wasn't the shiny, you know? Like, I really hope I'm not, I didn't, you know, just postpone my getting this shiny, uh, Slowpoke or Slowbro, or Slowking, I think is the one that I need. I think I have a Slowbro. But, you know, hopefully I didn't just, you know, shoot myself in the foot. But we'll see. I I highly doubt that's in this. I don't know. Maybe they, you know, maybe if there's not really breeding in the new games, they it's gonna be really interesting to see. Cause like they have kind of made breeding not anywhere near as necessary, right? Cause now you have bottle caps and you have mints and you have ability capsules and patches. So like you can pretty much take any Pokemon and make it. A competitive Pokemon at this point. 
really the only thing that you can't do, and I gotta imagine they'll be adding something to do this, especially if they are in considering making changes to breathing, is, um, you know, no good IVs. If you want, like, the lowest speed possible on a Pokemon for a Trick Room team, or something that takes advantage of moving slower, you know. And I do get from the competitive standpoint that, like, that really is better, especially for, like, stuff that's hard to get. It's just, like, you know, make it an, a more even playing field so it's not about the training the Pokemon, it's about the battle. Um, don't get me wrong, me personally, I would almost prefer that, breed, that, like, breeding or training, you know, in general was maybe a little bit more uh, needed, I don't know for, like, competitive stuff, but... Like, I understand that it is very much a barrier to entry, so it's like, well... I get why if they wanted to potentially get rid of that. But it still would be weird if they got rid of, like, breeding as an entirety. Like, you can't throw a Pokémon into the daycare center with a ditto, you know? Because, I mean, they would have to do something to balance it out so that, you know, you are still... The shiny rate isn't, like, abysmal. Not just, like, in the raw numbers of, you know, 1 in 5, 12 or whatever, but, you know, the actual time it takes. Why do I keep checking? I'm so used to, like, checking my party repeatedly to make sure that I'm not, um you know, overfilled or anything. But, like, no, that's literally the point of this. I want to have a full party. God, I'm scared to see how large of a file this is going to be. That's another thing about the, um, the rendering stuff is, honestly, if that, I don't think they're going to be quite too bad. Um... But, I mean, if there are, like, ridiculous file sizes, I'm just gonna have to say, I guess I'm not doing higher quality. I don't know. I mean, that's the thing. At that point, honestly, I might just go back to doing the GPU for streaming and the CPU for encoding. Honestly, that would work really well with the um, the new Arc uh, GPUs, which I need to look into and see if anything has happened with the A380. Also, apparently there was like a uh, more even more cut down version of the A380, like an A310 or something like that. I forget the exact designation, but they kind of like they didn't say any anything about it. That being Intel, but like it's on their website now kind of like it's in their uh, spec sheets and stuff and like obviously that you know as long again as long as it has that av1 chip that'd be perfect that's why i want to get the uh the a the pro a40 or the a40 pro whichever orientation that is um because even though it is very similar to the um the a380 it is supposed to be a uh, single slot card, which would be fantastic because I don't have that much space left on my PC at this point. Um, a dual slot GPU, like an A380, is going to take up too much space at this point. Alright, actually, tell you what we're going to do. Uh, I've had to piss a ton today. <laughs> I think it's like I've had a bunch of caffeine. Although no, because I didn't have much caffeine. Anyways, um, sorry. Let me do this. Let me pause the recording, and I'll be back in just a second. Uh, recording resumed. Eggs. And we're back. Okay. So let me see where we're at right now. So we got some eggs. So I think this is the last full box I'm doing, and then I need like another 10 on top of that. So we still gotta fill these up, or fill that up, fill that up, 
And then we'll have a few more. Again, if I go over on eggs, I just won't hatch them yet. But I probably won't go over more than like one or two, I hope. Because I will be kind of paying attention to it, hopefully. We'll see. I mean, it is me after all. interesting that you can look at the egg summary I think I assume the reason for that is that that's the same screen like when you catch a Pokemon um it asks if you want to add it to your party or send it to a box because I didn't used to always be a thing it used to be if your party was full and you caught a Pokemon it just went straight to the box you didn't get a choice in the matter so it's nice that they added that um I assume it's just it's the same screen for that because I mean it is I assume the egg is basically treated as a Pokemon, just a very, you know, unique type thing where it isn't actually usable in any way until it actually hatches. I just find it funny because there's not really... I know there's some information on the summary screen for those, but I think it's more like you can check how far along you are hatching an egg, not so much like anything else. And if you just are getting the egg, then... It's not going to have any step progress. Something I am finding very interesting with this uh, stream. So I haven't dropped any frames. I should. Also, I saw like a fucking a stats box, like a uh, dock thing that I can have on a uh, OBS. Like it's built into OBS that like tells me like you know, how many frames I've dropped because it's over, the encoding is overloaded or whatever, stuff like that. Uh, I haven't actually looked into that, like I opened it, and then the box doesn't really fit anywhere else on the screen. It's very, um, like most stuff you can, you know, you can widen or you can shrink it down or whatever. So that way you can really have control over how your OBS screen is, which is nice. But this box doesn't let you do that. It has like, you can make it wider, but it, the set width is significantly wider than most stuff. I guess I could put it there, but I could put it like near the audio mixer or whatever, but eh, I'm good. No, it else would be good though. I was really hoping that would be the one. Oh, we are about to hit 1100, and we still don't have the shiny. I know, I know. Still, still more than a 10% chance they would have taken this long, so... It's like, it sucks, but it, you know... Like, overall, 1 in 10 chances still... Well within the realm of possibility. I think it's down to like 1%, that's when nah, I'm going to start being really upset. Uh, if it somehow gets down to that percentage, something has gone very wrong, though. Because, like, that is, uh, that's low. I wonder how many eggs would that even take to get it down to a 1% chance of it taking that long. I mean, that's, like, bad. That's really bad. But yeah, hopefully... God, the night, the thing that would be nicest about getting all these Galarian forms would be I can, like, finish up some of my other hunts that I want to do before the uh, new games come out. So stuff like, um, you know, I want to go back and get my Ditto um, that I never got in BDSP. I need to finish Registeel. That one's less pressing, but still. Also, who knows, and maybe it'll be in the new games and the Shiny Charm will work. That's actually a good point. Maybe I should hold off on Registeel. Because at the end of the day, like, as much as it's like, oh man, I've already done like 38 or 3900 encounters for Registeel. Um, you know, it would be like, oh, it's kind of a shame to give up on that hunt at that point. But also like... That's just sunk cost fallacy. It's still 1 in 4,000 odds of getting it. Doesn't matter how many more of them I do. It, the odds don't get any better. 
So, but if, you know, if they are in the new games and the shiny charm works, or there's some, you know, other method to increase their odds, then like, well, you know, at that point, I might as well hop over and do that instead of wasting even more time on the Registeel in uh, the Crown Tundra. Also, the other nice thing about that would be it would significantly shorten the time that I need to take to uh, start hunting Regieleki. Well, actually, I would assume, I guess, if they have any of the Regis in the new games, they'll probably have all of them. Um, but it's not a guarantee. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, maybe I will hold off on the Rush's Steel Hunt until the new games are at least out before going back to that. But, you know, ditto. Uh, let's go Eevee. I want to go and do that, you know, use my Master Ball on that to get a shiny. Hopefully that would just be a single stream. Plus, you know, I still need to finish up my Cobalion that I, I didn't stream at all, but I was working on it in Sword. Especially because that one that I can go and start doing the others as well. That one, that's the weirdest thing about the Regis, man. Like, the um, Cobalion, Trakian, Verizian, those guys are all affected by Shiny Charm. But Registeel and the rest of them aren't. Like, even Regigigas would make a little bit more sense why it's not affected, because it is a raid, technically. Um, and raids aren't affected at all by Shiny Charm either. But that's, like, I understand why that is, because they have their own spawning tables and shit, especially when they do the, um, the wild area events, where, you know, one of the parts of the spawn table will be a Pokemon with, like, 10%, sh you know, or just, you know, absurd odds on it, or, sorry, if it rolls that specific part of the table, it's a guaranteed shiny, but it's, like, you know, a 1 in 10 chance, or whatever it ends up working out to be for some of those. Which also reminds me, I need to go and uh, work on the counter program on that as well to make that so that I can do a, a proper uh, probability percentage. I have, like, this hair that I can see. But, like, I can't, like, catch it. That is really annoying. I guess if I can see it, it must be in front of my eye, right? Whatever. Hopefully it's fine now. It also could just be, honestly, it could be, like, the re light reflecting off of, um... Like or light reflecting off like the eyebrow or something and it looks kind of like a hair like a, a loose hair thing that I do have this bright uh, ring light going whoops I need to grab more eggs alright hopefully soon here we get to start doing uh, some you know, crossing the bridge. I will say, I don't think this is gonna really save much time. This, uh, method. I think if I was, uh, removing them from the party as I'm hatching them, and replacing them, it might work better. But we're at, uh, about an hour and a half now. Which, actually, yeah, we're a little bit shorter than an hour and a half. Hour 20. So maybe it's saving a little bit of time. But, either way, it's nice just to do something a little bit different. Whether or not I stick with this method, yeah, we'll see. We will see. I need to go and look at, well, the problem is, like, trying to figure out how long it takes is kind of hard because since I'm streaming it and I'm not, like, you know, I'm going to look at Cerebi, I'm, you know, doing other stuff occasionally. Not, like, for long periods of time, generally, but, you know, it will add up over time. In theory, 
you would think, you know, well, over a large enough scale, all that would average out, so, you know, but it's, on any individual stream, it might vary a little bit. But we'll see again. If this uh, render takes an awful long time, or if the file size is more than I can even handle, then it's, you know, we'll just have to deal with it. I could always go buy another hard drive. Uh, I mean, if it's... If the file size is, like, the, like, only real issue, then that's probably what I will do. But I am concerned about the length of the render time, because rendering out to 4K when you're using a fairly high bitrate, uh... You know, source is... Thanks a little bit, especially because I have my quality setting cranked. Most, uh... The th in, um, the codec, or, you know, choosing the, like, rendering options, I guess, um, the, there's a few different options. I mean, you have performance, and you have, you know, quality, you have balance, but then you also have, like, a second, like, even faster performance mode, and a, um, a second even higher quality mode. I'm on the first quality mode, because the second quality mode... Oh, I don't know why it takes so much longer. It's like, it's insane. It is such a massive jump. But I mean, that first setting, it's still probably going to take me significantly longer than the, um... I don't know why I'm checking that. I'll, it's still going to take me probably significantly longer than, like, the length of the original file. Like, in terms of time. So, like, if it's a two-hour file or a two-hour video, then it'll be, you know, more than that for streaming. Or for... Jesus. Oh, uh, I'm tired. Uh, but it'll be more than that for, um, the rendering at the end, when I do the final render. But I will try and do that tonight, just so I can try and keep up on it. I do have the last episode of the Let's Go Eevee playthrough coming out tomorrow, which is nice. Um, so yeah, and again, if I'm a couple days behind with it, it's fine. It's just, once you're a couple days behind, if you then fall behind on that time scale, then it starts stacking up really badly. So, and especially, you know, there's not much I can do to speed up the, well, there's plenty I can do to speed up the rendering, but there's not much I can do to, um you know, speed that up without, you know, having to compromise somewhere else. It's not like, you know, when I just, like, when I just, like, I'm lazy and I forget to upload a VOD or whatever, that's just, you know, that's just me being dumb. I just need to do better. Boy, oops, I didn't put anything back in the party, did I? Um, but when it's, you know, just rendering, like, a... There's not much I can do there. If it's gonna take however long it takes. So that kind of sucks too, because then it's like, well, I can't really speed this up, you know, it'll, again, without compromising the quality. So it's, I have to just let that happen. But that means if I'm backed up, you know, if I got two or three of those to do, now I'm looking at, you know, a very long amount of rendering and I can't like have them rendering, well, in theory, I can have them render at the same time, but it would take the same amount of time, I would expect. Actually, probably a little bit worse. And you're really increasing the odds of something crashing at that point. Um, Why, again, am I checking this? Uh, I guess I will have to check it soon here. I think after I hatch this set of eggs that I have, I will check to see where we're at on the uh, boxes. And, like, figure out exactly how many more I need. So I'm doing this, like, figure eight pattern because I hope maybe this will help with not wearing down the, um... The joysticks at all. Something is I could, I, I can't actually, um... Move, you know, go further like this instead of doing the shorter ones. Technically, I guess maybe you take longer to go pick up the next egg, but like, eh, I don't think it's a big difference. It's a few steps. 
but like the thing is you know just the way that the design for um most joysticks is the sensor a potentiometer or something something along those lines um it's literally just metal contacts that as the as the it moves the joystick it changes how much resistance there is and so it basically tells the you know the controller where the um i know i'm checking it now okay we still got quite a ways it tells the controller you know where the joystick is so that way it knows what to tell the game is going on um and because it's just metal on metal contact, there's not a whole lot you can do there. Um, you know, it's di well, I shouldn't say that. It's not there's not a lot there to do, but eventually any controller is gonna wear down from doing that a whole lot. Now the controller, you know, the joysticks on the Joy-Con, pretty bad. They wear out really fast. Um, but I mean, you know, eventually any controller is gonna have some sort of effect with that. Even if it doesn't end up presenting itself as drift, maybe it's just like, you know, uh, intermittent, uh, intermittently working or whatever. It, you know. Um, but so, if, you know, I'm not moving the joystick as much, if I'm moving more in straight lines, then, in theory, that'll help uh, preserve the joystick. Fortunately, I do still have another left Joy-Con that is still fine. Because when I got these ones, I was replacing my right Joy-Con that I died, but the left, or not died, but I mean, it was not working as well anymore. Specifically, I was trying to play Legends Arceus and I could not aim that for shit because it's just, you try to aim and throw the Pokeball and then your aim is just like, nope. So, um, so in theory, I should have a backup, but also like that one's kind of old at this point. I've used it a little bit for shiny hunting, so like, hope it works. Okay, so, did this change at all? No, this did not change at all. Okay, so we need eight, 18 more eggs. So we've probably got at least one more set of uh, hatching to do here. Before we've, uh, we've kind of maxed out on our eggs for the night. I do kind of like doing it this way, though. It does definitely at least feel like I'm doing less wasted effort. Because, um, like, I don't have to ride all the way back to here from, like, the other end of the bridge and stuff. I don't know if maybe the um, moving stuff around in the boxes makes it still, you know, makes that any time savings there a wash. I don't know. It definitely isn't going to be, like, a massive difference, but... Should do some. I actually don't know if I would do this method on a BDSP. Obviously, I'm not gonna end up doing much, if any, breeding in BDSP uh, for shinies at this point. It'll basically be if I get to the point where something that I want to hunt isn't any of the other games, then I'll do it in there. But like, you know, there's over 900 Pokemon already, so there's plenty of stuff for me to hunt. Uh, but we'll see. But, but anyways, the, the reason why I might not do this, like, specific way of doing, like, the big raids and stuff is... It's just, it probably isn't going to work as well. I don't know. Because, like, since it is more grid-based in BDSP, so it's like it just kind of makes sense. And you do have that really long path. Plus, BDSP is already going to take longer anyways. So it's like, well, I'm already accepting this hunt's going to take longer. So might as well just make it easy on myself. And on my Joy-Cons, actually, too, because I can use the uh, directional arrows. Which is actually a really good reason. Yeah, never mind. So I wouldn't do that. I would still do it to spawn eggs. You know, the spinning in a circle real quick to get eggs to spawn, but...
yeah, I think we're kind of like right at our pace here that we would normally be at anyways. We're at about one egg a minute. But I do think I like this better. Even though, again, we'll see. If this Joy-Con dies pretty soon, and then I replace it with the other old one, and then that one dies as well, maybe we'll stop doing this. Though, you know, potentially... I mean, that's the other thing, right? If it, if it can speed it up a little bit at this point, that might be a good thing, just because I have not a whole lot of time left to get all my Galarian forms shiny. So, um... I will see. It also would just be a good excuse to get a Switch Pro controller, although the issue with that is I would still have broken Joy-Cons at that point, and then it's, you know, I do still use my Joy- or er, yeah, I still use my Switch sometimes in handheld, so... Who knows? Got eights across the board there. We need another 12 eggs. I'll try to keep mental track of these, but I think we should be fine. Because we needed, what, 18 more and we got 6 more there? So, we should be fine on this one. I think after hatching this set of eggs. Uh, double check. Yes. Even though I know I just picked up an egg from them and it didn't go into the party. So, I know. It, I, I didn't check that. I don't know why I did. Um, yeah, after this set hatches, then we'll really keep a closer eye on it again one extra who cares but or you know a few extra who cares but i don't want to like keep doing this uh like this also something i do need to go and actually look up again because i have mentioned a few times that there's supposed to be or i thought there was anyways a mechanic where if like you, you know you have five eggs in your party one of them hatches it either has a chance or it just always will slightly boost the uh, the progress of the other eggs where they're at. Um, but in a test I did last night, I don't think that was the case. Maybe I just got unlucky. Again, it's a chance. Uh, you know, or maybe it's just not a thing. Or maybe the way I was testing it doesn't make any sense. This was late last night. Hence why I'm so tired. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not sure that's a thing. I really need to be better about, um... Like, before I start saying, yeah, this is a thing, actually look it up and be like, hey, is this a thing? And not, like, just go with what Reddit says. Like, you know, the uh, Pokemon Home supporting Scarlet and Violet on day one. I should, probably shouldn't be parroting that if I don't know for sure that it will. I could probably look that up right now, actually. Uh, let's go back to the homepage of Sarah B. New games. Uh, okay, nothing in the sidebar that mentions um, Pokemon Home compatibility. Let's see, check Pokemon Home. Um. Uh, let's see, Banco, da, 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 doesn't have it. I don't see anything on this page. I don't want to spend too long doing this. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about this. I will, I guess it makes sense that Serebi doesn't have it, like, on their page yet, because it's, they, you know, I guess, I don't know. Maybe that's just not a thing, too. Maybe that's just another me doing a thing that I bitch about with other Poke YouTubers where they, uh... They just parrot information without, like, 
you know, just pair what other people are saying with, and even though it's not necessarily true. Um, like with the whole how the shiny mechanic works for um, the uh, like aura covered Pokemon or whatever in Sword and Shield. Or brilliant or whatever the term for it is. I was just, it's so funny on, to me on that one, but literally there was on the Sword and Shield page for the Pokemon Company, but it said how that stuff worked. There was a little bit of ambiguity with how it worked with fishing, but for, like for the normal encounters, they literally said how it works. And a whole bunch of YouTubers just ignored that, I guess, and came up with their own idea of how they thought it worked. And it wasn't like that got uploaded like a long time after the game came out or anything either. Um, Cause it, uh, I don't know if it was at release that they posted that, but I mean, it was, you know, uh, do we, oh, we might actually have the perfect number right now. I'm just realizing. I didn't even, like, account for the fact that I had eggs in my party already. Oh, we need two more eggs. Okay. Let's gonna put the other... We need one more egg? No, two more. Two more. Do that. Um, I don't know why I'm organizing it like this. Uh... <laughs> This is really dumb. No, sorry, Whopper Man, I'm not doing any trading tonight. Unfortunately though, yeah, the trade evolutions are something that you can't- Oh, hold on, do I still have nothing in my party? I don't have anything in my party. Um... Do I have- wait, okay. Why is my brain not working here? Okay, yes, I need two more eggs. Yeah, unfortunately with Pokemon Home, I don't know why this is the case, but if you trade a trade evolution Pokemon, it doesn't, like, evolve it in Home. I get that it's, like, not an actual game. It's more just storage software, but it's still weird that it does that. But, again, you know, trying um, Reddit or Discord is going to be easily the best way. Plus, you're, you know, then you get involved in a community of people that do Pokemon traits and stuff already. So if in the future you need to do more, you know, you already got the resource for it. Okay, so that is... Yep, so that's all the Pokemon I need because I have... Those ones are obviously in my party right now, and then, yeah, that's everything. All right, cool. Let's start crossing the bridge, and then... Once we're done, we're done. Also, hopefully my count isn't off tonight. That would be a, a bit of a problem. I don't think it is. I think I have the right number of eggs. Yeah, I do, because I have five sets of five, and I have 25 left to hatch. I don't know why I, like... I heard the noise for the boosting, even though I just pressed the button for it, and so I reached over and almost hit the button to activate the, um, the counter. Also, something I guess I could do in the future is instead of doing it this way, where I'm, um, you know, I'm still collecting the eggs, I could pre-collect all the eggs. Um, that would work fine, probably. Maybe even work better, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see if I do that. I'm not sure, because if I wasn't doing the other shiny hunts a little bit off stream, um, like, you know, Slowbro or Slowpoke, whichever one, um, 
that would be a lot easier for me to justify but i don't want to do that and then do a bunch of breeding for like 150 more eggs and then hatch those on stream too plus i would have to figure out how long it takes for me to just like hatch eggs you know if they don't have like any progress on them um and then we would, I mean, we would do a lot more eggs on stream. It's just that's also a lot of time off stream that I'd be spending breeding. And, you know, if the spawning part of it takes even like, we'll say half the time, that means for 150 eggs, it, or 125 eggs, it took me about an hour. So, it's... I don't know. It, it, it would be faster. Well, again, it'd be faster on stream, which would mean doing more on stream. Which, I suppose, if I since I'm doing breeding off stream anyways, in theory, just do, you know, collect the eggs off stream and then hatch them on. Could work. We'll see. I mean, either way, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do that for this hunt, and I don't think I'm going to do that for the um, the current slow poke hunt that's off stream. I'll just, you know. I'll just consider that for in the future. And I really don't think I would do that for... Um, like, after I'm done with these hunts. After I get all my Galarian forms. Um, yeah, because, honestly, I'd rather not breed off-stream, if I'm going to be completely honest. It's just, you know, I'm, I don't have much time left for this. I only have... I forget, I did the math on how many days of streaming I have left to do before the new games come out. Oh, that's a convenient name for this, Ice Punch. I just noticed that was the name of the song. Also, we are at the point that we're only going up 0.2% on that percentage every time. That's the thing, that what I mean about, like, if I get to 1% chance of it taking this long on this, I'm gonna be, you know, something has gone kind of wrong because, like, even getting it to it at that point, honestly, I probably won't even be going up 0.01% every time the, um, every time I hatch an egg. They probably would be, like, taking a couple eggs at that point. So it just, you know, the amount of eggs I would have gone through is going to be a lot. I can try and do the math, uh, or I can, like, you know, just start throwing random numbers into the calculation and see what I get back out. Did I? Yes, it did. Okay. For a second, I got scared that I didn't, uh... Didn't hatch... Or didn't add more eggs to the party. Alright, three more sets. God, please. What's funny is I did after, um... After the last stream of this, um... I went through and double checked all the eggs to make sure none of them were shiny. I'll probably do that again tonight as well. Plus it's, you know, good to clean out the party whenever possible. That's one really annoying thing about the fact that like you can't mass release in game. You have to use Pokemon Home. It's like I can't like you know, if I'm somewhere without internet, I can't use Pokemon Home. It's like, which is so stupid. 
Like, I, 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 well, I understand why you can't use Pokemon Home. It's stupid that you can't just release the Pokemon en masse in game. The fact that, like, mass releasing is a feature of Pokemon Home is like, all right, come on. Especially because, well, hopefully they're changing that, though. Because, they I mean, you could do it in um, Legends Arceus. I mean, hell, you could do it in uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, though, so... It's just, I guess if the game has, like, traditional boxes, it doesn't let you do that. But also, the pastures in Legends Arceus were laid out like traditional boxes, so... I don't know. That's another thing. I would like to do at least one more Legends Arceus shiny hunt before the new games come out. I think I'll probably still go back to it a couple times after that, but I mean, you know. We'll see. I guess, yeah. God, that's another thing I have to do is I have to keep working on my living decks. <sighs> so many things to do. I've, like, taken on so many different little tasks. Um, that will be kind of the nice thing about... um. You know, once I'm worrying about, like, the Paldean forms. I want, like, just once the new Pokemon are, it's like, I can just worry about, um... You know, just worry about catching the new Pokemon and, you know, trying to breed the Paldean forms. Although, again, we don't know if there's going to be breeding, or at least in the way that we expect it. And we don't know if there's going to be, if it'll be like Legends Arceus, where it's, you know, encounters are just insanely good odds. I would hope so. Like, I don't think it has to be quite as crazy as Legends Arceus. Legends Arceus is a lot. You get a lot of shinies. Oh, is that I watched someone get, like, 10 shinies in two hours last night or something? Because he just... He just run around and watch... That was the thing. It wasn't even necessarily outbreaks and shit. I think there was one point where he got one shiny from an outbreak. And then in the same area without leaving... He got three more just spawned in the wild. There was one where he had a shiny Combi and a shiny Scyther spawn basically right next to each other. Like, as he's walking up to the uh, shiny Combi that he's trying to catch, the shiny Scyther in the back effect also went off. It's like, what is going on? Like, don't get me wrong. I'll absolutely take advantage of those ridiculous shiny odds, but... Man, is that, like... It's probably a little bit too easy, you know? Though, the other thing is that, so in, um... I forgot about this. In one of the things that was shown in the new trailer is that on your trainer card, kind of like how in this game you can see how many, um... how many shinies you've gotten in your inventory um, on your trainer card, if you, like, if you flip it over, I think. But also it has to be updated, because you have to update the picture anyways. Um, but one of the stat lines on that thing is, uh, shiny Pokemon fought. So not just caught or acquired or anything like that, actually just the ones that you have fought. <laughs> so it seems like we're going to be seeing a lot of shinies. Honestly, it wouldn't be the end of the world for me at this point if it did stay, um, just like across the board, crazy good shiny odds. Like, uh, I... I recognize that it might be a little bit too easy, but also I guess you can also look at it as like there's how many hunt I mean there's at least nine hundred Pokemon now, right? And I know one of the leaks said there's gonna be over a thousand Pokemon after the new games come out. We'll wait to see if that happens. I guess the question is, does that include alternate forms and stuff too though? Like because, you know, I mean that same leak kinda thought that um there is, like, alternate forms for Gallade now, but there isn't. I think it's just the Armor Rouge and the uh, Cerulege. Also, it's possible they might have, uh, just, like, in the background of one of the shots, they might have teased the, like, unevolved form of those Pokemon. So, like, they'll both have a common ancestor, and then, depending on which game you're in, it'll evolve into the, um, whichever one is the, you know, version exclusive. Anyways, we'll see them. Uh, last five eggs. God. We're really gonna be at 1150 and not have the fucking shiny yet. Well, 
it was bound to happen eventually that I would have a hunt this bad. Hopefully I don't have another one like this for a long time. Because, man. I should, uh, maybe I'll do that before I wrap up real quick. Because, I mean, we're at, right at two hours live. Um, that doesn't, you know, that includes the uh, intermission and the, you know, before I started recording and everything. So, this is definitely a little bit quicker. Um, not like a huge amount, but it definitely is faster. Anyways, the, um, I should average, or find the average of how long it takes for me to get a shiny via breeding. Because, like, I have pretty much all my egg hunts, uh... The numbers are saved. So I can just kind of add those up. I did not include Galarian Weezing in that because, you know, I kind of fucked up the odds on that. That's the, dude, that's the thing. I'm getting close to the odds that Galarian Weezing should have took. Like, on average. And this is supposed to be 1 in 512. And Glaring Weezing was well before 1 in 512. It was like in the 300s. Guess we can check in a second. Is this the shiny? Are we done? I mean, we're done with the stream regardless, but are we done? Is this hunt over? Would you believe this hunt isn't over? Okay. So. Move these into the party. Or out of the party, rather. Ugh. God, that sucks. So, 1150 eggs. If you hatch this many eggs, there is an 89.44% chance that you will get at least one shiny. I, like, again, not crazy. It's still 10% chance that we take at least this long, but, fuck, man, come on, game. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, this real quick. Uh, all right. Let me. Uh, so, hold on a second. Let me go pop open my list of all my other shiny hunts. Yes, yeah, so like Azuro 326, Meryl 5. I might not even include Meryl on that because that number is just ridiculous. Um, Larvitar 240, Chinchu 111. Glaring Meowth did go over odds. 632. Fion. Yeah, Fion was best odds. Uh, 369. Slowpoke, again, over odds, just barely though. 566. 100 for Glaring Ponyta. 301 for Farfetch. Weezing was better than I thought at 240, but again, that was my other uh, weird one. So let assume, you know. Thinking that if I had gotten the uh, shiny just now at 11:50, uh, 36 plus, ah, uh, we'll keep the five in there. It's you know still part of the average. Plus 240, 111, 632, uh, 396. I was sorry, 369. I actually typed it incorrectly. I just said it wrong. I just realized that like goes up evenly. Um. 100, 301. All right, so 2650 for all those shinies divided by. Hold on, hold on. I need to look at my history real quick. Did I take that in all right? Yes, I did. Okay. God damn it. Three, six, nine. Okay, so divide by nine. So about 294, 295 eggs. There's a decimal there. Um, you know, you can't get a partial egg. Um, so about that many before considering this hunt. So then we add 1150 and we divide by 10 and it goes up by almost 100 eggs for that average. Oh, and then if we take out the Meryl, again, I, there's no real reason to, but if you were, 
it jumps up to 421, again, with a decimal. So, you know, uh, anyways, yeah, this hunt is really messing up my average game. Um, let me see here. So the other thing I want to look at is how many do I need to get anywhere close to one in or 1% 1 odds of taking this long? Uh, let's say 2000 eggs, 2000 eggs would put me at 2%. Okay, 3,000 is supposed to be way past 1%. Uh, 2,500. 2,200. 2, so, at 2,300, you have, like, it's, like, a 1.1% chance of it taking 2,300 eggs to get this shiny. If I more than double this hunt, I'm gonna be a little sad. <laughs> um, anyways, though. Go ahead and get things... Uh, go away, window. Okay. Um, good news is, I think my recording settings are all, like, good. I didn't... I don't think I had any issues. Uh, I will have to watch some of the stream to make sure the quality is okay. I'll probably do that tomorrow, honestly, because there's nothing I can do about it now. Uh, but I don't think I had any encoding uh, difficulties at all. So, I think we're good there. Um, or encoding difficulties recording wise, so I think the, you know, the YouTube video should be fine. And hey, speaking of that YouTube video, uh, if you're watching on YouTube and you're seeing this video in hopefully super high quality, well, this one will be in high quality. Yeah, no, this one will be in high quality regardless. Um, whether or not I keep doing 4K or if I just go back to 1080p, again, that's purely for bitrate. The resolution is 1080p, it's just I'm gaming YouTube system to get higher quality without higher resolution. You can't play well. Actually, I wonder if the Switch emulator would let you try to do 4K. It would probably freak out if you did. Anyways. Um, but yeah, hey, if you're watching on YouTube, come watch me on Twitch. You know, you get to watch everything live. You get to watch me go through 1150 eggs and not get a shiny. But when I do get a shiny, it's pretty hype. Um, but yeah, I mean, I stream pretty much uh, five nights a week now. Um, I know I've been really inconsistent in the past. I'm really hoping to be consistent into the future. So, you know, um, Wednesday through Sunday, so I don't stream Monday or Tuesday. Um, and around, like, 10 to 11 p.m., like, somewhere between 10 and midnight start time, usually two to three hours to stream. You know, it's a good time. Uh, and if you're watching on Twitch, um, you're watching the VOD there, this VOD's only up for 15 days, so come watch me on YouTube. Plus, as I was just saying, the higher quality stuff, you know, Twitch is limited to what the actual bitrate of the stream was for that VOD, uh, whereas YouTube, I can record in much higher bit rates and quality and upload it like that, and it just looks better because, you know, at the end of the day, I get Twitch doesn't have much choice about that because there's, you know, it's a live platform. It, you, encoding it live like that it can be very difficult um yeah anyways wherever you're watching i do definitely appreciate you watching thank you very much uh tomorrow crazily enough more of this uh we'll be starting that probably around 12 30 to 1 a.m um that's just when i'm gonna have the time to do it um and then, yeah, again, we'll probably do, we'll probably do like 150 eggs tomorrow. So we'll get up to, uh, well, assuming it takes that long, please game, please. I'm, I'm, I'm begging you. Stop. I, I get it. Okay. I've had really good luck. You've made your point. Please, please let it end. I need to get all these shinies before the new games come out. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I do definitely appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time.